I quit everything I ever did, you know, my career in the music industry, etc., to do to be able to do this here now. I decided that this is how I want to live my life, this is what I want to do, and like there's nothing else for me. The Jeepster is a 1973 Jeepster Commando, or Jeep Commando, no matter how you want to call it. It's a 73, so it started as a bullnose uh, Commando that where we swapped the front ends. I drove it one weekend <laughs> the way it was originally. Like one, one single weekend I drove it, you know, in its stock condition. Uh, before we tore it all apart. It's a mix out of everything I like automotive wise. Like I threw everything in a big pot, stirred it, and that's what came out. My dad took me when I was like three years old. I think like hard, like, like yeah, I was a baby in the seat. I grew up in Germany. We always had a YJ in Germany. We were part of an off-road club. Traveled all around Germany and you know surrounding countries to go wheel. A lot of places in Belgium and France. We did the Jeepers Jamboree in France every year and had a real cool park that called Bielstein in Belgium. That was like our home park where we where I learned to wheel. I mean literally on the lap of my dad, like trying to touch the pedals, trying to reach the wheel. Like I really got into this really, really, really early and it stuck with me. So it is a, a 6.1 liter Hemi out of a Challenger SRT8 uh, with a 545 RFE transmission that's been built, Atlas transfer case, uh, Tom Woods drive shafts, and a Dana 60 high pinion in the front, king pin, and a 14 bolt in the back, shaved with a 40 spline 300M axle shafts and a 40 spline ARB locker. The front has 35 spline RCV 300M axle shafts with an Eaton locker. Uh, this color is just perfect for that Jeep. Like the flat red with the gold wheels, a little bit of gold accents in it. I love it. It's my color now. <laughs> I chose the Jeepster because of its unique style. I just always liked oddball Jeeps, you know, and 
Um, I even really like the bullnose front end that I originally had on it, but I'm too much of a Jeep guy to not have a seven slot grill because it's also my only Jeep. I don't have another Jeep. Like if that's my Jeep, I want it to be Jeep Jeep. And Jeep Jeep is a seven slot grill. It, it does everything I want it to do. I can put it in a car show, I can bring it to a hot rod event, I can, you know, travel the country and hit the hardest trails I want to hit and then, you know, put it back in two-wheel drive and hit the road, like, every single time. And uh, that just is the greatest feeling on earth, you know, doing something like sledgehammer and then, uh, you know, after that, pop it back in two-wheel drive, go to a restaurant, have some food, hang out at the bar, and then drive it back, nothing better.